Lieutenant General Tumukunde is one of the earliest army veterans to openly challenge President Museveni to hold on to presidency. On 29 September 2015, Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde said he would never offer himself for presidency, insisting that people from other regions of the country also needed to take their chance. For example, in my own case, I would not, never not, no, not offer myself for, I think never is a, a large statement, not offer for myself. No, because I think maybe other Ugandans should be given chance from other regions. But barely a year later, on 27th January 2016, Tumukunde made a U-turn during an interview with former NTV news anchor Joel Senyonyi. We did not go to the bush because we are seeking career. So if some of us leave the army and choose to go the political course, we shouldn't be misunderstood. And in any case, how many army officers have been participating in politics? That time, he felt Ugandans should not deny competent leaders from the same region with President Yoweri Museveni. Do you want to deny Uganda good leaders and good ideas and good minds just because of their profession? Are you going to join those who are already saying people must come from a certain uh, region? So I don't see why all this is worrying Ugandans. Stick to competence. Philosophical competence, ideological competence, capacity to understand the issues, capacity to run this economy which is uh, quite uh, a nightmare in our circumstances. Mukune then wanted Ugandans to throw a caution to the wind in the same way President Museveni had done in 1981. In any case, there is no way you are going to become a leader without pushing yourself into a very serious struggle. President Museveni did the same. For those who are soft-hearted, who don't want to take it on as the rules require, what can we do? So anyone who is fearing to offer himself because of a rough age, it's no longer very applicable. If it was ever that applicable in this country, my own view is that there is a bit of sacrifice when you want to lead the country. Mm -hmm. Offer yourself for leadership. Start owning yourself. Let's get to have where to, judge, where to pick from. Let's get to know better leaders. Let's get to know, especially at your age. On 25th July 2019, Tumukuna again appeared to encourage the youth to take up the mantle of leadership. Any young people coming up in politics, including Bobby White, come up. It's always work in progress. Test yourself into these things. Go to the electorate. We've got one and a half years to go. See how it works. How about the role of the elite in politics? Are you sure you'll continue to be hiding in bars and nightclubs as things continue to change without you putting in a serious contribution? Mkunde felt that Uganda's political space is open for any Ugandan seeking leadership. The challenge is simply enormous. We must continue to prove ourselves beyond reason of doubt that we are capable of attending to this enormous challenge. What you have just elaborated, General Tumukunde, sounds like a manifesto of a presidential candidate. This is a dress rehearsal. <laughs> yes, this is <laughs> a presidential candidate. Mr. Tumukunde, you have an ambition Mr. to Kamara, I'm this just material. I'm just, an, I'm just an informed Ugandan. The former Secretary Minister later hinted that the African bear was ringing for the continent's leaders. These Africans are simply sending one signal, a vote of no confidence in African leaders. How long is this going to last? 4.3 million young voters are coming to vote in 2021. Late last year, at a funeral service in Tororo, General Tumukunde castigated government officials for blindly following President Museveni's views. So is a tendency in Uganda only take as important what the President of Uganda takes as important. I find this total absence in terms of responsibility. Jingo Francis, NTV.